This is Scorpius bringing you my fourth review. Today we're doing a review. No, not a maraca, but Cybertron Clocker. Yes, Clocker. Also known as, well, whatever his Japanese name is. Anyway, yeah. Clocker is obviously an Autobot, because his insignia is right, well, right there. See how tiny that is? See how tiny? See how tiny? Anyway, his basic colors are, well, blue, white, orange, light blue, silver, and obviously a little bit of red. As for the Cyber Chi, or Force Ship, whatever you want to call it. Oh. Stay. Good camera. No. There. Plugs in right here. Plugs in right here in the back. Push it in. And what's this? Oh. What is that? Could it be blasters? Now. Notice, it just flips these up. You have to, well, you basically have to manually take the actual blasters out. You know? So, yeah. Yay, blasters! <laughs> okay, that was lame. Alright, <sighs> shall we add space to well, To describe what he is, he's basically like, well, a sports car. Something. Just a car with big old blasters and removable smokestacks. Nice feature, yes. And you look carefully, right there, you see magical seeds. Yes, they're magical. Why are they magical? Because I said so. Alright. Do you know this may cut a little because I'm going to get this camera adjusted. And it is adjusted, so let's uh, transform this little guy. To start, you basically take the smokestacks off, though it's not entirely necessary, but yeah, hang on. Bloody camera. <clears throat> Sorry about that. The tripod was being a little well. Word I cannot say in here. But you get my drift, do you not? So to continue with the transformation, Basically, remove the other smokestack, and then, um, then you basically have to pop this off. But I find an easy way to pop it off is plug in the cyber key, then grab it on the sides, pull it out. Now, I don't know if this is just my figure, but he always has a problem with one of these sides are always coming off. I think it's his left. Not sure. We'll find out. So. After you bolt. Put these open, and grab, you kind of take this, flip it back, and then close these. Uh, 
this is the one part I don't like about the reviews. Always worrying about the camera being adjusted. So, to continue, we basically we take this. Well, you take the front, sort of break it up, and it folds right there somewhat. Then, see these? Grab right here, swing forward on both sides, and swing the arms down. And then, before you put them, swing them back, basically, I have to take the head, flip it up. Hold up. Then, just lock it right into there. Then swing the arms back. And, there's Clocker. Yay. Colors in this mode are the same. You know? So, colors are the same. Just, well, a little more orange in this mode. <clears throat> well, he's a good little figure, honest. As for possibility, his arms can move up, down, rotate 360 degrees. Legs can only bend back so far, mainly because of that, you know. Otherwise, yeah, it's decent possibility. Now, remember the gun? Well, turns out to be a gun. Cyber key is the same. I like putting it in the left slash right hand. Mainly, because it looks good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks good. But, uh,. Yeah, this may not be that good of a review compared to my previous three, but eh, what you gonna do, huh? Can you blame me? No. So, Cybertron Clocker, about, cost me about almost 10 bucks at Walgreens, though if you still see him somewhere, or his repaint, Swerve, or whatever his name is, just see him, and you want him, and you got the money to buy him. I recommend picking him up. Ratings? Hmm. 7 out of 10. So, Cybertron Clogger. About, I don't know. Probably about eight or so bucks at Walmart, but about ten bucks at Walgreens. If you see them, you want them, you have the money. I would recommend picking them up if you want him. Not saying you have to, but it would be nice. So, seven out of ten. Clocker, you see him, you want him. Go get him! This is Sergeant Scorpius. Ow.